around and show you the first find. All right, not quite sure what it is. Wasn't really deep. There used to be a house here on this site. City property now. Get back to you on the next one. Alright, well, I'm back with a strange find here. So, dog tags tokens, or tags, I mean. Brownstown Township, Michigan. Expires 1960. I got five of them out of the same hole. I'm at this old home site. Oh, I'm guessing somebody had dogs and trained them. And how they all got in the same area, I have no idea. Found a lot of broken glass and some pottery in this hole. The wind is really cranking too. Got some storms coming. I'll get back to you on the next one. All right, back here is another find. like some kind of a twist lock. All right, well, get back to you on this next one. All right, back here is another find. I have no idea what this is. Very crudely made. Looks like it's made out of copper. Has a crown on it. And the letter F stamped into it. I have no idea. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right. So I'm thinking that this has been filled in. I found the old infamous pull tab and a quarter from 1967 and it was pretty deep they were together down there it's getting a weird signal so seeing as I'm on an old home site I figured I'd check it out all right let's see what else we can find all right got a find here to me it has a little rim on it looks like it is a broken bell, maybe. I hit it with the shovel right there. Looks to be brass. Alright, see you on the next one. Alright, not even five feet from where I found the other piece of that bell, I found this piece. Now I got two pieces. These two pieces go together. They line right up. Man, I'd like to find that hole. I'm going to continue to look around in this area, see if I can find some more. 
All right, well, I just found the third piece of that bow. You can see how it has some design on it. I rubbed this one on my pants, so it looks shiny. Huh. Keep on looking, let you know if I find any more. All right, well, I think I finally found the home site area with no modern junk on it. I just found a piece to a lantern. You can see where the wick comes through with the stem. It has a little gears in it. You crank your wick up with your lantern. So I'll let you know what else I find. Alright, got another part here. This part has threads inside. Looks to be brass, maybe copper. Stuff's in pretty good condition being in that sandy soil, nice and dry. All right, see you on the next one. All right, well, I'm shaking with this one because I've never found one of these before. Looks to me like a, an eagle button. From the Civil War and I've just found this where I found that broken bell and the lantern parts all within maybe I don't know 15 foot circle now I'm in Michigan and uh, we had a lot of guys in the Civil War but I've never really found any Civil War stuff like this so I'll clean it up with a brush and get some pictures. Alright, well, I just brushed it off and it has the shank. It's along the back. That's so cool. Alright, I gotta head back to the car and get some more off. These mosquitoes are getting me. I'm gonna give it a once more in this area for sure. And it wasn't even that deep. Get back to you soon. All right, back with another one. It's been a little bit since I got a signal. Found this piece says DM and Company. Not sure. DM and company. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright, just dug my last harmonica reed. Well, I should say I dug my last target of the day, and it happened to be a harmonica reed. Pretty neat. See you on the wrap up. Alright back here it's another target it's like a copper spoon handle and there is some writing on it mm, can't read it I'll post some more pictures of it when you get to the house see you in the next one so I just dug something really neat. I even put the lesh in the end to make sure it had a hole in it. I'm guessing that's a little cannon. Maybe a kid's toy. I'm not sure. You can see some detail on it. And it was deep too. That lash is all the way in the to the top. Pretty neat. I have to find some info on that. See you in the next one. All right, back with another find here. Little ornate clip, of some sort, paper thin.
And this Equinox sure likes the small stuff pretty deep. All right, see you in the next one. All right, back with another target. It was right there in the plug. Looks like to be Wheat Penny. Back looks like it's in pretty good shape. Can't see a date. I'll get a date and let you know. See you in the next one. All right, I'm back with another find. I really wish I would have showed this signal on the Equinox. It was really, really jumpy. And I dug it anyways. So it looks to be another wheat penny. I will get a date and get back to you. 1936. All right, let's see what else we can find. All right, here with the wrap up video. We'll be going back to that site. So I have the broken bell, a spoon or a fork handle, this piece of copper. You can see it looks like knife marks right here where it was cut. Some of these little pieces I didn't record. Here's the dog tag, some pottery I found. I haven't researched this yet. What appears to be a cannon. Shotgun backs, melted lead. When you flip this over, you can actually see impressions right here of if they're pouring lead bullets over maybe some kind of a cloth. It's, you can see when this was hot, it dripped on something. It's definitely lead. Some more lead. You got these bat, these uh, padlock keyhole covers. That one's DM and Company. This one has a crown and a letter F. Some lantern parts, a harmonica reed. In the general service Civil War button here. Waterbury Button Company. So I will be going back to that site. Thanks for watching.